Cash Bear 1000 here. Today we're going to be checking out this Cobalt Bow Hacksaw. It's kind of like two saws in one. Um, this was bought at Lowe's. Let's check it out and see if it's any good. Okay guys, like I said, sorry about the background noise. Put them in the garage at her mom and dad's house and they're mowing all around so what i'm doing is i'm putting a uh um, a pool filter in which you'll see that video too but i had to go buy hacksaw blades and i was looking at hacksaw blades they were like seven bucks so i thought well i'll just grab just grab a whole saw this was 14.99 i thought well it'll work and then i got to reading it it's a bow saw slash hacksaw so what you can do is you can use it to cut limbs like camping or you can use it to cut steel. It also comes with all the blades. It comes with one blade for your wood cutting, you know, for cutting your branches, for a bow saw, for pruning, whatnot, camping. And it also comes with two steel blades for $14.99. So, you know, for you know, I'm getting a, a lot more of a deal. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this apart. Right now, we're gonna go ahead and open this up. Like I said, this was bought at Lowe's. And here's the hacksaw blades right here. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these off. Take this wing nut off of here. I'm gonna take these two blades off. We're gonna be using one of these. I'm not sure which one. Um, there's a 24 and an 18. See the difference in the teeth? Come on, focus. Well, I guess not. Anyway, there is a big difference in the teeth. This is the woods, the, I don't know if you can see that in there. I'm just gonna leave the cover on it. That's for cutting your wood. Okay, so let's set this up here. All right. Now, we're gonna take this, and we're gonna pull this out, and lose the, the bolt, okay. But I thought this would be great because, damn it, for when we go camping or when we have our fires out back, you know, I thought it'd be a great idea for that. Okay, so let's go ahead, let's use the, um, I'm gonna go ahead and use the 18 tooth, because we're just cutting plastic PVC and Make sure you got the two teeth pointing away from you, like that way. Unless you want a back cut, but in this case, we're not gonna be doing that, so. All right, we're gonna put our, whew, it's hot in here. Put our little deal on there, and we're gonna put our other one. right up through here. Then I'll also try to find a piece of a piece of wood to cut. And we'll see how that does, but I may wait until we get home to do that and I'll just cut a limb off a tree or something, you know. There's plenty of dead limbs out. Tighten that down and then you pull this handle and that tightens it up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut a piece of this tube off of here for the pool pump and um, then I'll go back to that so I'm, t I'm making two videos in one guys so then we'll go back to that and then when we get home we'll try the wood the, the wood blade but right now let's go ahead and cut this off 
Okay, I think I measured, I think I needed seven inches for the first cut. And I'll just use this one to mark it with. I got a pen in there, but I think Monkey's using it, so. As you can see, I do have a tape measure here, thanks to Monkey. Albeit a little funky looking, but hey, it's better than nothing, right? So, now let's get the saw, and let's start cutting this. See if I can get a straight cut. Alright, not bad. It's a little crooked, but that's me, not the saw. So far, it works pretty good on this. Okay guys, we're back at the house, our house. <clears throat> and I got a log here. Granted, it's not... It is oak, but it's kind of, you know... It's kind of rotten, but let's check this out. We got this blade on it. Alright. If you guys can see it or not. And of course, it's got to be wet. Yeah, see how wet that is inside there? So, yeah, it's up. Uh, there it is. This is awesome, man. A piece of tiger wood here. It's not made for this kind of stuff, but I thought I'd give it a shot. Oh, yeah. So, like I said, it's not made for cutting two befores or wood like that, but it is made for cutting, they call it pruning. So, yeah, this is uh, I'm almost through that already. Uh, wet wood, but you get the idea. I wanted to show you that one. Now let's go put another blade on it. We'll go into the vise and we'll uh, we'll see how it cuts some metal. Okay guys, we're back in here. We're in the shop. I've got a, a bolt here. It's not a grade eight. Um, I do have grade eight bolts, but none I want to cut up just for, but this is, a, is it's a galvanized coating. Okay, so it is steel but it's just a galvanized coating on it. Um, what I've done is I've put the uh, the 24 tooth in. What that is, that, that um, TPI, is that's how many teeth it has per inch. We use the 18 on the, uh, the PVC earlier, if you saw that video. Well, actually, I'm going to throw a clip in. Never mind. <laughs> but what it is, is every inch, there's 24 teeth on this. This is the one we used earlier. This one has 18 teeth. Let me see if I can get it focus, and I'll show you. There's 18 teeth every inch. There's 18 teeth. Come on. 
But anyway, so let's cut this. And what I like about it too is it's got, you know, a front and rear. Let me back you out a little bit. I zoomed you in on the bolt. See? You can uh, left or right. Uh, there's one thing I wish they would change. I'm not going to say I don't like about it because so far I do like it, but we'll get to that at the end when I give you my final um, thoughts. Let's see if I can get this to zoom in on the teeth. I just wanted to show you how, you know, how far apart they are and whatever. But anyway, this is the 24 tooth. Let's go ahead and cut this off. I don't care about this bolt. This bolt's junk. So, and when you're when you're using a hacksaw. Don't put pressure on it. Let the saw do the work for you. And try to utilize your whole blade if you can. Now I'm going as far as I can because the wing nuts, I should have turned them around. I could have got full stroke, but see the wing nuts are kind of hitting on the vise there. But you get the idea. So, I mean, I know we're, we're doing a review on the saw, but remember, the saw blade, if you got to pay a couple dollars extra for a good blade, get a good blade. Don't, don't buy them uh, $2 blades or $3 blades, or you get three for $4. Now, these happen to come with it, these cobalt blades. These are pretty decent. I've used them before. So, um, but yeah, it's just... Uh, And it's, you know, pretty smooth one-handed, too. A lot of guys will use this to keep straight. And then once you get, you know, almost halfway through, you can let go and just... Like I said, if... If I would have turned my bolts, my nuts around here, <laughs> my, the wing nuts, I could get a longer stroke. All right, let's not even go there. Okay, it's not Friday yet. Man, that was my fault. But, so as far as the blade goes, kind of a review on the blade. I like the blades. Um, very good. Uh, do I like the saw? Yes. Now, let's talk about it. Again, sorry for the fan in the background, but it, it was very, very hot again today. It did rain a little bit. Uh, the pool pump, well, the filter system seems to be working okay, by the way. Uh, if you saw that video. But, let me get you turned around here, and I'll give you my final thoughts on this $14 Cobalt. Okay, guys. The Cobalt Bow Saw Slash Hacksaw. Okay. It's 12 inch blade. Um, do I like it? Yes, I do. The pros, the price. I know I keep saying 14. It was 14.99, I think, or something like that. 15 bucks, whatever. So let's just call it 15 dollars. All right. Now you're gonna have tax on that, but does it feel good? Very, very comfortable. Another pro. I like the two handle, the two grip deal. I like that. I like that it comes with three blades. You got your wood blade for cutting through limbs and, and whatnot. Um, now mind you guys, I, I'm not sponsored by them. They didn't give me this. I bought it. I bought it outright. No one has sponsored me yet or has even asked. So here we have the 24 tooth. 24 teeth in an inch. That's the 24 tooth. We also have the 18 tooth, which was go good for the PVC pipe. Yes, I know it was a little crooked. I sanded that off, by the way, made it, made it uh, straight. 
flat. Uh, that's my fault. It's not the saw's fault. That was totally my fault. Uh, can't cut like I used to, but that's another story, and most of you guys know why. But um, I can't, you know. My arm's like a lasagna noodle sometimes, so I struggle a lot. But anyway, so you get you get the three blades. You get the two metal and plastic blades and you get your wood blade. You can buy all different kinds of blades for these. Okay, so I like the feel of it. I like the fact that you get extra blades and multi-purpose blades so you know you're not just stuck with one blade now I gotta go pay ten dollars for more blades. Um, the price is awesome. Um, it does have this handle here that you pull out right and it loosens that okay but a con one of the con we went through the pros one of the cons is the wing nuts they could have had some kind of hook or, or something in there to where once you release this handle that you can change the blade they could have made it a quick release so if anybody that works for Cobalt or has got some clout with them, let's see what we can do about that, okay? Um, there's ways you can do it. A lot, of the, a lot of the hacksaws have it on one end anyway, you know, that you just stick it in. And um, Another thing, this, I do not like this. Now, it hasn't got me yet, but I'm sure it will, okay? I don't like the fact that that's like that. You can get your hand in there and pinch your hand. Uh, pretty easy. So those are the two that I'm coming with Coming up with you guys might like that idea And some of you may not I'm not cutting it down <laughs> pun intended um, I am just letting you know my dislikes about it not not everything can be perfect for everybody You know um, some of you guys, you know might like it like this and say leave it And some of you guys might say you know like me. Well, let's make a quick release um, what that would be nice a quick release, yes, but you know, I mean, the saw it's got a little gravity to it. I mean, it's not heavy, it's not you know going to hurt you after a while. Um, it's a little bit heavier than a regular hacksaw, uh, but not by much, not much to where you're going, you're going to notice it. Um, I do like that they have this here. Now this is not padded. This is just plastic, but I do like that. Um, this is padded here, this part. This is plastic. This is padded. And this is padded. Well, I won't say it's not padded. Let me rephrase that. Because somebody, I know somebody's going to say, well, it's not technically padded, it's rubber. Okay, which is true. That's 100% right. It's not padded. But it feels like it. It's nice. It's a it's a rubber. I don't know if it's a rubber or a silicone. It didn't really say on the on the, but it did say comfortable handles. Um, but I didn't spend that much time reading the thing. So yeah, very comfortable, easy on hands. Usually you should be wearing gloves when you use this. Use something like this too. Um, longevity, we don't know. I'll have to let you know in an upcoming future video. Um, you know, we'll give it a couple months. I'll use it and we'll see what it's like. Durability. Durability. Let's talk about that for a second. Well, I have dropped this twice on concrete. Both times it hit this edge. Yes, twice on concrete. Both times it hit this edge. I dropped it twice on dirt. Both times it hit this edge because you know that's the heavy end. I see nothing. I see no no dents, no damage. It's not bent. Monkey dropped it on concrete. Hit that edge. She was like, "Oh my God, I'm so sorry." It's okay because she got sandals on. I'm glad it didn't hit her foot because that would probably hurt. As I have steel toes on, she doesn't. So. So it's been dropped three times on concrete, twice in dirt. I've had it a few hours. 
So as far as durability, I'm good with that. Now, I want to talk to you about something about durability and these reviews. Now remember, this is my opinion. You're welcome to differ. But when you watch these reviews, these guys reviewing stuff like this, I'm not going to go out and tear my shit up, okay, on purpose, just because they said you can run over it with a car. Because when you buy something to use, I mean, does it make for good video? Not, not in my opinion, no. Because I know exactly what they're going to do. They're going to do what they say it'll do, and then they bitch and moan and complain if something happens. Well, it's not really made for that. It's just trying to show you, look, it, it's durable. Because a normal person, you know, that's somewhat all there is not going to do that. I'm not going to tear my stuff up just to see what it takes to break it, okay? Because to me, that's not a fair review, all right? So, when I do my reviews, that's why I try as best as I can to do what the instructions say to do or to do what it's meant to do or what I'm going to be doing with it. You're not going to pay $30 for a frying pan and go out and run over it with your car. Well, what if it's an accident? Well, why do you have your frying pan out in your fucking driveway, okay? Your knife. Are you really going to buy that knife to use to cut up chicken and end up cutting a brick with it? No, probably not. I mean, if you're doing brick work, that means you probably got the tools to do it. Are you going to go out and cut a limb off a tree with a steak knife? Probably not, because if you're cutting a limb off a tree, you're probably going to have a saw because you know that's what you're going to be doing. You see my point? So I try to use, I try to do my reviews in everyday situations that I'm going to use them in, or you, or your brother or sister. That's the way I like to do my reviews. I reviewed this today. I'm not going to sit and bang on it with a hammer. I'm not going to run over it with a truck. Um, like I said, this is not as seen on TV, so I don't even know if they claim that they'll, that it'll handle it. But as far as, I mean, I'm pretty sure I could run over this with the truck. But what if it bends, you know? Now I gotta go buy another one. I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tear things up. I'm not gonna do, say, well, they claim it'll do this. Another thing people do is give stuff thumbs down and it, it gets a one. When you're watching the video going, well, you did it totally wrong. You didn't do it the way they said because a lot of them go, well, the instructions say do this, but I'm going to do it my way. And then when it don't work out, they put the product down and go, it's junk, when really it's not. They just didn't know how to use it or didn't want to do it the right way or whatever. But like I said, so far durability, yeah, I'm happy with it because, you know, I mean, I've, I've dropped the older style hacksaws, you know, with the, just with the black plastic handle or blue handle or whatever they come on them. I've dropped them and they broke. I've dropped them, they've bent. This has not bent and has not broke. And like I said, it's been dropped three times on concrete, twice in the dirt. So all in all, what does the cobalt get? In my opinion, two thumbs up. So far, I give it a five out of five stars. Now I'm going to take that back. I'm going to give it four and a half stars because of the little things that I would like to see. Um, you know what? No, I will give it a five out of five because this is just a matter of preference here. It has nothing to do with how the saw functions and how it works. So that so I will give it a five out of five for fifteen dollars. It, it's great. I mean, you would expect to see it at 20. I wouldn't want to see it at 20 because I think $15 is the perfect price, <coughs> excuse me, for this saw. And with what you get, I think it's perfect. And Cobalt's a good tool. I've always liked Cobalt. It's not my favorite, but they are a little pricier. But I've always had good luck with Cobalt products. All right. Um, so yeah, I will give it a 5 out of 5 stars. Two bear claws up. I like it. So if you're looking for a good saw, like I said, dependability, 
Now, next time I use it, it may fall apart. I don't know about that yet. But so far, right now, I would say if you're looking for a good hacksaw, and you don't mind paying $15 for one, I know you can buy them for, at the dollar store for, you know, three or four bucks, whatever, Dollar General. Don't, don't buy that junk if, if you're going to use it a lot. And like I said, this is dual purpose. I can use it out in the backyard when we have our fires. I can use it camping. Um, it's versatile. It comes with two extra blades. You know, you can get different, you know, uh, teeth, you know, on your, you know, 20. That's, it comes, it just comes with an 18, 24. Now, you can get different teeth. You can get better saw blades. Uh, Lennox is a pretty good saw blade. Uh, they are very pricey, but I have used them. I have bought them, and um, I've had good luck with them. So, yeah, overall, yeah, get, if you're looking for one, you don't mind paying $15 and some change for tax, pick you up a Cobalt. I, I got this one at Lowe's, because Lowe's knows Ace is the place, right, guys? <laughs> uh, there's what it looks like. And it wasn't on sale. That's that's actual price. So I I can't you know I'm not gonna sit here and say you know that it was on sale when it's not. That's the actual price. So with that being said, weekend's almost here tomorrow night. I'm not sure which video I'm gonna do, but I I'm gonna try to do every Friday night if I can a late night in the shop night as you guys may or may not know I've got two episodes up now I'm calling it season one episode one season one episode two at first year it'll be season two episode one all right uh, some of you guys like that I've noticed a lot of other people are starting to do late night um, videos too but I've got I've got two things I'm not sure which ones I'm going to do, but they're both they're both really cool. Well, one of them's really cool, and one's kind of a a follow up on something. Um, so I may do that. I just may do that one tomorrow during the day. I still got my uh, my niece's uh, suburban to look at. I didn't get to it today, so I'll bring you along with me on some of that. We'll scan the codes on it and see what the codes are reading and stuff like that. But yeah, anyway guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it uh, a lot. Um, thanks for all your support. Please feel free to hit the bell icon after you subscribe to get notified of more videos. I have different, I have, a for those of you that don't know, if you're a first time viewer, I've got a bunch of playlists. I've got cooking playlists, how-to playlists, as seen on TV, product reviews, uh, paranormal, um, nature and outdoors, um, you know, for the gearheads, I got, you know, uh, car videos and uh, shop videos and, you know, just do-it-yourself stuff. Just, uh, there's something for everybody and, uh, you know, have a Shea Bear binge and just watch them. I, I've got, uh, I think, right around a thousand videos now, so um, there should be plenty there to keep you guys occupied, so... Anyway, again, Shea Bear's a myth, man, a legend. I'm gone for now, guys. Bye-bye, and have a good one.